Hello guys, welcome back to this playlist, Manage Your Data. Myself, Arthit Gusani. I'm an application engineer at Engineering Technique. In this video, I'm going to cover about the functionalities of 3D Drive application, which is a part of CII role. So without wasting time, let's get started. Let's look at the functionalities we get in 3D Drive. 3D Drive application lets you securely store, access, and share files on the cloud from any device. It enables you with many capabilities like organized files and folders. From this left pane, you have access to the tree menu from where you can quickly access and navigate the files and folders you have created and shared with you. In my files section, you can see files and folders you have created. From blue button at the top, you can create folders and upload files and folders. Also depending on the content you select, it will let you access the complete list of commands from up right here. Let's take a closer look at these commands. So we can preview most of the files stored in a drive utilizing the capabilities of 3D Play application. After viewing, you can add a comment and have access to share and download the file. Next, you've got this uh, sharing options available like you can share it with your team with can view and can edit access. We just need to type first few letters and it's here. We can let them add other team members and you can add a message along with it if you have any. Next is share by link. Say for example, you have lots of files already shared with your colleague. So in that case, you can share file by link from where it can be easily accessible that eliminates excessive searching. And you can also upload a file directly in any of your 3D Swim community for interactive discussion. Select the content type post or media, the community where you need to publish, the file we have selected is already attached here, add a description, and we are good to go. Okay, next, we can also share content in conversation for immediate collaboration. Select the content type, select the person you want to share with, add any comment, and we can publish it or keep it as a draft for future reference. Next, from this option, we can directly copy the link of file. This behaves the same as share by link. We can add our content to favorite. As you can see by pressing here, it is added. We can ensure from this icon beside the name that the file is added to favorite and shared with our teammate. Next, we are having some copying and moving options available for files and folders. We can also change the properties of file like title and description. Similarly, anytime after creating the file, the files can be downloaded and deleted from here. It can also be updated with the latest version from our local disk. Next, we can see all the necessary information like properties of file. The owner, the date created and modified, and uh, any history of file if you updated a file. It displays the file version history here. You can also add a member from here. As you can see, I added my colleague. And as an owner, you can remove them from accessing this file. You can switch uh, their access. Uh, even you can make them as an owner. And as I have previously mentioned, you can actually share this content with anyone like customers, vendors, contractors, etc. You can restrict the access to any specific user by adding their email ID here. And as a last option, you can add a comment or a reply to any comment from here. Next, you can preview the files and folders that are shared with you. By selecting a specific file, you can have access to all the same commands from up right here. You can see the information like who is the owner, last editor, creation and modification date, and the type of access that you have been given. And also as you are not the main owner, external sharing is not available to you. From the recent tab, you can have access to the latest 100 files that have been created, modified, updated, opened, or restored by you. Your favorite files are displayed here. And at last, deleted files are collected here. In case if you want to restore them or permanently delete them. If you want to restore them, you can do it from up right here. Next, we have a feature-rich tools for conducting common tasks 
such as word processing like any reports, spreadsheet modeling, and business presentation. We can do all of this inside of 3D experience platform. As you can see, I have these documents already created like PPT, Word, and Spreadsheet. If you want to continue work on it, you just need to select the document and you can edit them from here. Next, you can install 3D Experience Drive for your Windows. This application lets you securely store, access, and create content seamless to synchronize the files from your desktop to 3D Experience Online Drive. And it makes content sharing and collaboration even easier. Okay, and if you have been utilizing any external cloud storage service like Box, Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive, you can connect it to here. You just need to click on it and sign in. As you can see, I have my OneDrive connected here and I can preview all the content. I can see files and folders created by me and shared with me. So 3D Drive is more than just an ordinary cloud storage app. It enables user an easy way to access, store, and share any kind of data and also sync data directly to local desktop folders that keeps your entire organization collaborating, connected, and current. Okay guys, thank you for watching this detailed video of 3D Drive application. Hope this will be helpful to you. If you have any queries, you can always reach out to us via this email or phone number. And uh, stay tuned for such updates. Keep designing, keep collaborating.